Hi guys, it's your girl Sammy. Um, today I'm going to be doing um, the makeup look that I wore to Monster X Dallas. So basically the look I did was a maple like brownish smoky eye with a purple red lip. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I used the Laura Geller um, mattifying primer. And before I did this, I had already moisturized my face, so moisturizing is so important. That's why black don't crack, you feel me? Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to color correct under my eyes. You gotta get underneath there. And I'm just gonna go in with a tiny beauty blender and blend that out. I'm not gonna lie, I think I put a little too much on today, which of course, I would do that while I'm filming because Satan is a liar. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm in the color 107 Fresh Beige. I have to mix this foundation because it actually, it falls apart after a couple hours. It is a drugstore brand, so you can't like expect too much. So I actually, I mix it with um, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I'm in color 53. And then I like to go in with my <sighs> Cover FX um, Enhancer Drops, the custom enhancer drops. If you do not have this, oh my goodness, like you need to get it in your life. Um, I use the color Candlelight. Basically it just gives like this glow like oh my god like you know how pregnant women have that glow like just I feel like I'm glowing maybe it's not real but in my mind it is so I use it every day we're gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and just start blending that out on our face make sure that you get under your neck and you go into the ears so that everything matches you don't want to look crazy after you've blended your foundation out, it's gonna be time to go in with some concealer. Um, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer in the color Tan Sand. And I'm gonna go in where I have bags the size of Texas. I love this Shape Tape Concealer, but it's so expensive. And I think it's great coverage, but it runs out so quickly for me, obviously, because I'm a full coverage kind of gal. So like, I'm really excited for the ColourPop concealer because I heard great things about it and that, that is $6. That is in my price point. Yes, Jesus, won't he do it. Okay, so we're just gonna blend all this out. Okay, once you have, um, concealed all of the areas you want to conceal. I like to go in with a lighter concealer to highlight my face because right now I look like a cake face and no one wants that, do they? Okay, okay. I mix it with the MAC, the MAC Prep and Prime in Bright Forecast. And that's just so that it's not like so caked on because I've already gone in with the Tarte concealer. And again, you don't have to do this. This is an extra step, extra step that you can uh, skip. It's all personal preference. I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Blender and my MAC Fix Plus Spray. And just blend it out. Now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake just so that we make sure that our concealer is all the way set in on our face. Now we're gonna let that bake. While we're letting that bake, we're gonna start contouring our face. <laughs> Girl, you look crazy. Okay, 
So I'm gonna be using the Shade and Light palette by uh, Kat Von D. Okay, so basically I use all three of the dark shades. Don't judge me because obviously I need to get a new palette, you understand. So I'm just gonna go in on my cheeks. Don't go too far down because then you'll start to look crazy and you don't want that. Okay, so then I'm going to use another Real Techniques brush and just, I'm gonna start to blend out some of where, some of the areas that we baked in. We're gonna blend it in with our contour so that it's not, you know, as harsh. Cause you know, we're trying to lose like five pounds but we don't wanna look like we freaking put brown paint on our face. And it's a very, very thin line. So I actually like to let my eyes bake for a little longer than um, the rest of my face. So we're gonna continue to let that bake and we're gonna do eyebrows. Um, also, let me just say a prayer. God, please grant me the peace and the serenity to make my eyebrows look like sisters and not distant cousins. Thank you so much in Jesus name, amen. All right, we're going in. I feel like every time I do my eyebrows, I'm like playing the game operation. You know what I mean? So difficult. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the color six. We don't look the same. Mm -mm. We don't talk anymore. My brows are not communicating with each other. Ain't that a shame? Okay, so once you are sufficiently pleased with your eyebrows, which is never for me, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to finish um, taking off the excess translucent powder from our face, so. Okay, I'm baking the front of my brows just to give them a more natural look. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, freaking love this palette. If you don't have it, you should go buy it. It's not hype, it's like legit freaking awesome. Um, we're gonna go in with the colors uh, Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna, and we're just gonna kind of put it all over our lid. Just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the color red ochre. Okra? It's not, okra is a vegetable. Is it ochre? Y'all tell me in the comments below. Okay, so we're gonna go in with that and we're gonna really get that in our crease. Okay, now we're gonna go in with one of my favorite, favorite, favorite makeup brands. Um, it's actually a black owned company, so I really, really support it. Um, Juvia's Palace, if you haven't heard of her, amazing. Um, this is the Nubian 2 palette. You can tell how much I've used it by how cracked up it is. Um, we're gonna go in with the color Jezebel. So now we're gonna go in again to our modern re renaissance palette. We're gonna go in with the Cypress Umber. Wow, who came up with these names? Okay, we're gonna be using the Dose of Colors um, Eye Duo in the color Maple. <laughs> if you don't know about Dose of Colors, it's an amazing, amazing makeup brand. Um, and all of their stuff is so pigmented and beautiful and you need to go buy it. Basically, that's my that's my thought. Okay, so the Ideal Duo, it has like the top, which is just like the base and then it has the glitter on the bottom. So we're first gonna go in with the base. Okay, now that we put the base on, we're gonna put the glitter, my favorite part. I'm gonna be using the um, liquid sugar. This is amazing if you're using glitter and you don't want a lot of it to um, fall 
and get all over your face. It really just pats on the product. Oh, stop. Do you, do you see, do you see this right now? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rivera Illuminator. And we're just gonna get the inside of our cheekbones. Just to give us a little bit more definition so we look a little bit gaunt. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with our Becca in Topaz. I use this as a bronzer and oh my God, it is so beautiful. I've hit pan, but whatever, I'll get another one. It's amazing. So, yeah. are you kidding me? Are you, look, look, it's as if I'm skinny. I mean, <sighs> thank God for contour. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Liner? Yeah. Okay, so we're actually gonna go in underneath with the same shadows that we used on our lids, just to give it that really smoked out look. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go in with some blush. I'm going to be using the Mac Sunbask blush. Okay. This just will add some warmth to our cheeks. Let's go in on the lips. I don't know why, but I save highlighter and lashes for last. Oh, I'm using the ColourPop Ellery lip liner. And now we're gonna go in with our MAC lipstick um, in the color Ruby Woo. Now, what should we do? Let's do highlighter. <laughs> highlighter, my favorite part. So we're gonna use maybe three highlighters. Don't judge me. I, you know, I just feel like, what is the point of putting on highlighter? Like clearly you came to shine bright like a diamond. Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> when I watch this video, I'm gonna be like, how many times did I say, okay? Oh, just 101. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a fan brush. No, I don't know where I got it. I think I got it from Amazon. Amazon has some good deals on some brushes if you ain't at the point in your life where you can have every Sigma brush under the sun. So I go in on my nose, just, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stop. All right, then we're gonna go in with our Laura Geller Gilded Honey. <sighs> if you don't have this highlighter, seriously. I just wish they made it in a bigger size. I heard that she is going to be making it in a bigger size, and honey. Ooh. I may not use three today, I may stop it too. I'm feeling a little conservative. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, now for lashes, I'm gonna be using the um, Flutter Lashes. Intoxicating, that's a really good name for a lash intoxicating. These lashes are very dramatic. We're gonna let that sizzle for a second. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna take, actually I got this as a sample from Sephora. It's the YSL mascara and it's amazing. I need to go buy it, but like, while well, I still got the sample. I'm gonna keep using it. So we're gonna go underneath and blend our lashes 
with the false lashes. Now we're gonna go in with our liquid lipstick. I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Outlaw. And you're just gonna put it where we applied lipstick. I'm gonna set my um, face with MAC Studio Fix in color NW35. Okay, now, of course, we're gonna set it with our MAC Fix Plus spray. Okay, I'm gonna fix my hair and then I'm gonna come back and y'all can see the finished look. All right, so this is the finished product. Um, I'm gonna change the lighting and kind of zoom out so that you guys can have a better view. But yeah, this is um, the final look. Um, I'll make sure to put all of the makeup details in the description below. Let me know what other makeup looks that you would like me to do. Um, if there's anything in particular, I will definitely do it. Uh, please don't forget to like <laughs> and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.